After hanging the dust collector plenum, I was not able to hang it as high as initially intended. That meant I had removed foam from the ceiling unnecessarily. Now I had to replace that foam somehow. Replacing the foam in the back wall was easy. Replacing the overhead foam would not be easy, and I was not set up to spray it. I tried installing Great Stuff foam directly from the can, but that was really a mess, and it was not good quality foam. I covered some cardboard with plastic, then I sprayed the foam directly onto the plastic two layers thick, then pushed the foam against the ceiling and held the cardboard in place with drywall screws. I was careful not to push on the foam too tightly, which would squeeze the bubbles out of the foam and ruin it. The next day I removed the cardboard and found the center of the foam had not fully cured. This was a sticky mess. There were also some large holes where the foam had not cured along with voids and folds which would require additional repairs. I trimmed away the foam which would get in the way of the repairs. I used a piece of plastic and taped it to a piece of cardboard so I could spray the foam on here about two layers thick and then shove that up against the ceiling and then I attached this with some drywall screws into the existing foam to hold that in place and you have to work fairly fast with this. One of the problems is the foam requires moisture in order to cure out and while it was able to get some moisture from the air once this foam got onto this plastic it self-sealed from the atmosphere and it couldn't cure out anymore and so that's why it was that sticky gooey mess and it didn't foam as nicely as would have been preferred and I went in and I had to do some repairs with that sticky mess I sprayed it with a, a mister with some water and I also sprayed that section on the ceiling to get this to set up and then this cures out and it'll come right off the plastic and that was a nice shiny surface that I really desired but didn't get. So that's one way of molding this foam and getting a smooth surface on it but if you do that spray the plastic with water then put the foam on it spray your application and the material will cure out. I misted water into the areas of the repairs and injected foam into the voids and folds. I misted the plastic covered cardboard in the repair areas with water, applied the foam to the plastic and then pressed it against the ceiling, again held in place with drywall screws. The large holes were filled with foam by injecting the foam into the palm of my hand while I was holding my hand against the ceiling. Another plastic covered cardboard patch was installed. After the foam cured, it was cut and shaped to match the original foam as much as possible. Once it was painted white and the plenum hung, the repaired area is barely noticeable. Polyurethane foam needs to be painted to protect it from ultraviolet light, otherwise it will discolor and degrade. I used white latex paint. You may want to review my video on reusing the spray foam cans and keeping them working until they are completely empty.